Thomas Murphy, 5'9". Right now, I'm about 203, would be my guess. 203. Okay, and what was your last show, bud? Last show I did was two years ago in Georgia. I did uh, Men's Physique. That was the one I played second and got best arms. Best arms. Good deal, man. Um, and that was before Classic, right? That was before the... Right. Well, uh, no, they had Classic Division in. It was just starting? Or? It was just starting. You know, I kind of wanted to see what it was all about before I jumped in there, but that's definitely going to be the next move. Okay, it would be Classic to yeah. do that. Okay, you kind of did a warm-up. We're going to do a photo shoot here. You kind of did a warm-up workout. You want to take us through the different movements and stuff and what you like about them? What we just did on the warm-up? Yeah. Yep. Well... Once I stepped in this gym and saw all their leg equipment, I realized I had to do legs. They've got some really good leg presses, uh, easy on the knees, and lets you really load it up. They got the vertical leg press. Um, they've got the pitch shark over here. It's another modified version of it. Did some walking lunges. Um, normally, I would do some hamstring, you know, some Romanian deadlift, something like that, and then general shoulders, shoulder presses, uh, side raises, lateral raises, reverse flies. And, you know, just get some blood pumping in there. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too special. And uh, you're still doing training for some people's Monday? I've got one client that he's holding me down. So I train him about four or five times a week. And other than that, I'm doing my, my app, TMT Systems. So that's workout nutrition plans, customized. And that's what I do in my spare time at work. I'm programming. I learn yeah, how to... for Hewitt Packard, right? Yep. yep. So I'm working in IT now. Actually... I'm doing uh, IT management. I'm, yeah, I'm moving up quick there. So, who knows where I'll be in a year? Good deal, man. That's awesome. A lot of bodybuilders in that. There are <laughs> two other bodybuilders in there, and we talk all the time at the coffee machine. That's awesome, man. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, tell people a little bit about you were in um, Fate of the Furious that came out what two years oh, ago? Fast and the Furious. 8. Yeah. Yeah. So, I got booked as an extra originally. I actually knew the casting director. Um, and he just gave me a shout and he got me at the right time. I was actually studying for an IT test, so I was between work. So I was able to get in there for a whole month and you know rub shoulders with the stunt guys. Mm -hmm. And by day two, I was already jumping in the mix with them. I wasn't getting their pay scale, but they were letting me in some of the scenes with them and breaking a sweat and throwing punches and pretending to get hit and all the whole nine. It was fun. I'm very um, cool. In the prison, prison breakout scene that's what it was yeah yeah and they they took an hour two hours putting on tattoos every morning actually the rock was a really cool guy it was cool to be able to work with him and you know just say hello yeah, yeah. i didn't want to bug him for an autograph or take a selfie with him or anything but because they film and you're in a good area too they film a lot in atlanta there it seems i think you guys must have a tax incentive over yeah, they do have a tax incentive and actually i've got buddies out in la telling me atlanta is where it's at now yeah so that is where you want to go. If you I want just to the saw movies. the new Avengers movie, and I was sitting saying for the after credits stuff, and it's talking about Pinewood Studios in Atlanta. Pinewood's right there. I yep. know Walking Dead films everything out there, and yep. there's a lot of big shows out there. So. Um, yeah, it's it's up and coming, and it's it's here to stay. I think they're putting another movie uh, studio in. Oh, that's very cool, man. Michigan did that, and then it collapsed because our governor took away our tax break. <laughs> So they filmed like Batman versus Superman was filmed in Michigan. That was a good movie though. And uh, I think Transformers one and two, and but then they made it's in Pontiac, and then they haven't really used it since. So, um, so how would you? And you were talking about trying to possibly eventually get into the stuntman stuff, right? You really like that? That actually would be awesome. Yeah. I know a couple guys that are doing it. Uh, my buddy Plus Kelly, he was in the um, what was the Guardians movies? of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. And then um, another trainer I used to work with, Dre, back in the day from LA Fitness, apparently that's what he's doing too. Yeah. He went to some stunt academy summer camp or something, jumping off of buildings and learning how to do flips and all that. But hmm. um, I did learn there's a couple of gyms that they go to to pull guys from, so you just got to get in there. Just stay around those gyms, yeah. Yep. So, you know, once things calm down at work and I realize, I realize what exactly my role is going to be, I can get back into that. And that's very cool. You said your work's real supportive of this, huh? They don't have a oh, problem with it. My boss thinks it's cool. Co-workers think it's cool. So um, if I needed to get a couple days off a week, I don't think it would be too much of a problem. Yeah. Very cool, so man. It works. Um, how long, just so people who haven't, and we've filmed a few other videos before too, but how long have you been involved with the fitness industry, bud, and training people and training yourself? And I've been in the gym since a baby, since I was like four years old, five years old. Yeah. And my dad was a physical therapist. So oh, I used yeah. to go to his clinic, you know, put my head against the Nordic track, going, 
He had uh, the electric stem I used to play with that. Put your <laughs> hand in the paraffin wax, and of course he had all the gym equipment. So yeah, yeah. I grew up in the gym. That's crazy. I'm very cool. Oh, yeah. um, what are the next plan for you then? Maybe classic? Can this wait and see how stuff goes? I or? might do a show in July with my buddy Moray. We'll see. It's going to be his first one. I mean, I'm really not excited about that one in particular, but I might do that one, and and then classic will be after that. I got to get this repair. Yeah. So once I get through this summer, get through pool season, I'm going to go in for surgery. Get the pectoralis major reattached. Because we'll see, it's snap. Yeah. Um, how did cut all this later? <laughs> cut, cut all that off. How that? I just let people know, like how they happened, but like what was happening? Well, honestly, you got to listen to your body. It felt real tight that day. I was bench pressing, and there's two things I would say. One, you're not supposed to go all the way down on bench press. You're not supposed to tap your chest. You're really supposed to go to 90 degrees and then a little bit more stretching it. I was trying to prove the point with 405. I didn't want anyone saying he might not have got it, so I touched my chest. And then on the way back up, snap, pop. That was the most painful thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Like, I almost passed out. Just oh, just trying to breathe. I mean, yeah. yeah, that one hits you. And then um, I threw that weight off my, my <laughs> uh, chest so fast, people thought it was probably part of the exercise. I just dumped it down, walked off. Did it start a bruising people. immediately or no? What's that? Did it start bruising immediately or was it? Uh, the next day, yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was terrible. A little bit up in the arm and then a little bit here. It wasn't terrible at all. But, I mean, it was, I heard it. Yeah, yeah, but it's like a snap, right? Yeah, that's what people that's, say. That's what was sickening. Like, you know, that's your body. It's like, ah, I can't be good. Yeah, I felt like, I think he tore his, Matt Kroc was his name, he was a power lifter and he was doing over the head tricep extensions. At, the gathering we had in Michigan, and I heard a loud snap, and he mm. dropped the weight. And uh, I'll be right back. He was like, "I tore my tricep." I'm like, "Dude, that's not even funny to joke about." Oh, no. He's like, "No, Jeff, I tore my tricep, and it was like separated." And ah. It's like, oh, so yeah. I felt really bad. <laughs> I mean, those kind of things you kind of have to get repaired. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm able to bench what I am right now. Yeah, I mean, and you said it really doesn't bother you unless you go really heavy, right? No, I can do push-ups fine. I'm benching 315 again, which is. I don't know how that's possible yeah. doing my weighted dips and everything but you know i gotta be careful on flies not to stretch too far so it's you know i gotta take care of it like crossovers probably too like cable crossovers and stuff right? uh, anything where i'm stretched back too far yeah that's where it really hits it so once pool season's over get that reattached <laughs> next year i'm coming full throttle i've heard it's not too bad of a surgery so no actually know. I read up and they get you back to the same numbers you were at. Yeah. Like yeah. powerlifters get it and they're benching powerlifting competitions again. Yeah. Yeah. So I've that's heard encouraging. Good, good stuff about that. Okay, man. Well, sounds good. We will uh, keep in touch and hopefully everything goes well for the rest of the year with you maybe doing that show then. So. Yes, sir. Okay. Good deal. Cool.